<laughs> hey guys, so today I'm reacting to One Piece. Woo! I had a crazy day today. I was at Universal all day, got a little tipsy. First time in a long time. But I'm all good now and realizing that today is Saturday. It's One Piece Day. Last episode was insane. We had Dendro showing up, slicing through one of Orochi's ships and everyone is so confused. And that just makes it so much better because they all think that Dendro is Kiyoshiro and that he works for Orochi. So they're like, what? Everyone looked so confused and Dendro's just like, haha, I just laugh at the end. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. Like he's amazing. I wore blue because I'm like, Yes, this is Dendro's moment. He's gonna come in there and help him out. And I'm just so excited. <sighs> I really hope too that in this episode, he reveals to Kinemon and the others who he is. Because at this point, it's like, why stay undercover? They're gonna know. But if they do wipe out everyone here, then Kyoshiro still could be undercover. So I don't know. I feel like it has to happen though in these episodes and just keep on everyone's face. That will be amazing. Everything about last episode, the animation was insane first of all. We had movie style animation for Luffy, Kid and Law fighting and it was just like, Phew, this is amazing. What like, what else are they going to bless us with in future fights, you know? Oh, yeah. Anyways, before I get into this reaction, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my patrons, King of the Pirates and above tier. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, not only on Patreon, but also on YouTube. When you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, it truly means the world to me. Again, a huge thank you to you guys. You guys are amazing. Sparkles. Also, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload. I'm still wondering what they're going to do about Conjuro. I mean, Luffy kind of pointed out, like, what the heck is this guy doing? Like, what is he doing? So, depending on what happened to everyone else as well, because they're not saying it, and they make it seem like they all died, which could be a possibility. I was actually expecting the other people that were supposed to be there to show up, but then they didn't. But, oh, man, I really feel like the main focus of this episode will be Denjiro. They didn't really know if he was alive or dead, so this could be very emotional. You know, they lost Kondro as an ally, but they never really had him as an ally, technically, at least from Kondro's perspective. But now they just gained one with, like, Kyoshiro being Denjiro. So it's like, you win some, you lose some. But you know what? Denjiro's better. Denjiro's better. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Um... Also, one last thing, if you guys wanna check out my TikTok, Super Mecha Frieza, I'm actually, what I'm doing is after the episodes, I might not do this for every episode, but I have been doing it for the past two episodes. I will leave like little thoughts and theories about things on my TikTok. I feel like I wanna do that. It's really easy for me to just like go on there if I have a theory or idea to say it there instead of like making an entire YouTube video for it. So make sure to check out my TikTok and follow me on there. I did have one for Corzon and because I know people were saying Law's new outfit and his jacket, like it was a tribute to Corzon, but I found in an episode that Corzon actually wore a yellow shirt too when he was holding Law. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was near the end of the flashback when they were heading to the last island and I'm just like, my heart was just, when I saw that, I'm like, oh my gosh. And I just have like other thoughts and theories, but I do want to start posting more like quick theory TikToks and also like fun videos, but mostly I want to do that as well. But make sure to follow me on TikTok, Super Mega Frieza. Also click on the link tree link in my description and that will have my TikTok link. But you guys should definitely check it out and follow me. It will be lots of fun. I am getting into TikTok now. At first it was kind of like, Ugh, TikTok, kind of cringe, but I do find it useful for things. So make sure to follow me on there. And I know a lot of people are like, I finally found you on TikTok. And I'm like, my channel name is the same as my name on TikTok. But you know what? Yeah. But yeah, make sure to check it out. And now time to get into this episode of One Piece because I am so excited. So let's go One Piece. Pew. And they all go down. <laughs> I probably should move over this way. 
Like, I can't wait. Please, reveal. Oh, really? He's gonna keep it up? Probably until the end of this. Like, I feel like most people probably wouldn't trust him. <laughs> this is great, though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> He's gonna reveal himself. Oh my gosh, yes! This is going, he's going to know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy! Makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, he took off the fluffy thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad he revealed himself. <sighs> so smart. So smart. Are they other ship? Oh. 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 <laughs> this is amazing. No. Better stop him. He fooled you guys. Huh? Uh. Uh. I love how he just pulls it. <laughs> ゆうこくとりふたつ。場所は羽文港。元の絵に千二本はなかった。この絵の存在は王路地たちに漏れてしまったが。死の間際の安井様によって半次絵は書き換えられた。新たに加えられたこの二本の線は腹の絵を消す
Now when he says Kin san, it's so cute. Oh. He's blushing. <laughs> Just the error and they think it was his master plan. Gotta love how things like that work out, though. <laughs> But, I mean, just tell him later. <laughs> That's very sad to think about. Please, can, like, nobody die? Uh, open up Wano. Can this, like, actually end with them opening up Wano? Onigashimai! I love the positive energy going on right now. I'm like, this is good! Again, how it can go from so depressing to very uplifting. Yeah. Run away. Don't let them leave! <laughs> Man, this is like the dream now. I take those hits. Mm. <laughs> Gosh, I miss Law so much because I forget just his interactions with Luffy and now we have to deal with Luffy and Kid. <laughs> okay, someone get Momo from him. Yes! Get him! I'm like, yeah, you can't go in the water. <laughs> I swear if it ends with him actually taking Momo. Oh no. Oh no! I swear if he actually gets away. Oh no. Oh my gosh, no! No! Holy... He actually is getting away. Someone stop him! Oh my gosh, Luffy! Someone save him! Oh my gosh, stop arguing, guys. Oh my gosh, freaking go save him! Oh no, if he gets away. Oh my, f no! They seriously are! No one went to save him! No! I didn't think Momo would actually get taken away! Fudge. Ugh! The fact that, oh my gosh, it kind of makes me mad. Which, I guess, like, Luffy doesn't know, but the fact that everyone is just standing there. Like, can't someone, like, super jump up there and try to grab him? Why isn't Sanji skywalking and, like, going to him? Someone! Someone go up in the sky and get him! <sighs> the, it's so frustrating that he's just flying away like that and everyone's just kind of looking like, Oh my gosh, Kanjiro, where are you going? It's like, get him! Oh my gosh, he's not that far away! That is just so frustrating. And maybe in the next episode, someone will go and save him, but oh my gosh, the fact that that's even happening is just... <sighs> okay, so first of all, the fact that Kinemon's plan, that was just so adorable that Denjiro was like, oh my gosh, Kinemon, like, you thought of this and tricking the spy, like, you are amazing, one step ahead of everyone, and she's like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, totally, that's totally what I was thinking. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Very beautiful moment, but again, way to take a moment that was like completely falling apart to thinking that all of the men died that were sent to the port and Kanjiro revealing himself as the spy to then 
having Luffy and everyone show up and then Denjiro coming in and then finding out that all of the men are okay. It's just like you hit that low and then it's like up, 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 up from there. And it's just, just imagine being in that situation, like on that ship, thinking that everything was over. I'm like, okay, we still have to fight through because we want to do this for Odin. And now it's just like the feels, ah, man, it was getting pretty emotional though when Dendro was revealing himself because all of these people thought he was dead and he didn't survive and now he's here helping them out and just oh, beautiful moment and just such a beautiful moment. That was a very good episode. <laughs> But again, the ending is so frustrating. I feel like that ending was such a cliffhanger on purpose. Again, Sanji can skywalk, if anything, which, like, yeah, Sanji, like, go up there. And plus, Sanji has his raid suit. I feel like he easily can, like, just go up there, save Momo, go back down. Just the fact that Kanjuro would be going back with all of this information, like, hey, Kyoshiro is betraying you guys. Oh, they're all coming get ready type of thing that could really ruin the plan but especially if momo is captured and taken that would be very hard to take on kaido and big mom if they have momo in the palm of their hands because everyone doesn't want momo to die like first of all he's a kid and second of all like he's odin's bloodline so oh, man. these episodes are fire though like I cannot even begin to imagine how crazy it is going to be once we finally get to Onigashimai and we have Big Mom, we have Kaido, the entire party going on. Like, just imagine them crashing it, their banquet. Whew, oh man, things are gonna get fussy. I feel like everything is going in such a positive direction besides Momo being taken away that I'm a little worried. How long is that gonna last, you know? But... Overall, amazing episode of One Piece. Always looking forward to watching One Piece every week, but just love Dendro, love Kinemon, love everyone. They're just amazing. <laughs> Loving Law, like I said, he's funny, especially his interactions with Luffy. Just kid Luffy Law, like the best trio ever. And I know people might get mad, like, nah, Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro, like, I love them too, but. There's just something so special about Kid Luffy and Law. I don't know. They're just amazing. But yes, we have everyone, the samurai clans, ready to fight. We have numbers on our side. Maybe not as much as Kaido, but better than having, like, counting. There's probably, like, 20 people total, if I really wanted to count. But whatever. It was, like, around there. Very low number. But yes, crazy episode. Cannot wait for more. It is going to be a great summer, so I cannot wait. Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out my One Piece reaction. Also, like I said before, make sure to check out my TikTok because I am posting like One Piece theories and bonus afterthoughts of each episode. So make sure to check it out, Super Mega Frieza at TikTok. Also in the link tree in the description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out my reaction. Make sure to give this video a like if you liked it. Also, subscribe to my channel for more awesome One Piece content and other anime things. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay fresh and bye.